Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Gospel Minute from St. Michael's Orthodox Church in Geneva, New York. I'm Steve Toby. And Jesus prayed. Yes, Jesus was a prayerful man. We can find Jesus praying several times in the New Testament. Today in St. Mark's Gospel, chapter 14, verses 32 through 42, we see Jesus praying to the Father. In this instance, he prays to the Father in verse 36, to remove this chalice from me. He is greatly distressed and troubled, so he turns in prayer to the Father. He is asking the Father, if it is possible, that he not have to go through the passion that is about to come upon him. How often do we, in trouble and distress, turn to God for relief or guidance? It should be our first thought in those times. For God is our only true refuge and answer in troubled times. There will be times that we may not like the answer we get, but we put ourselves in the hands of God and accept his judgment. I hope. Now let's read today's lesson from St. Mark's Gospel, chapter 14, verses 32 through 42. And they went to a place which was called Gethsemane. And he said to his disciples, Sit here while I pray. And he took with him Peter and James and John, and began to be greatly distressed and troubled. And he said to them, My soul is very sorrowful, even to death. Remain here and watch. And going a little farther, he fell on the ground and prayed that, if it were possible, the hour might pass from him. And he said, Abba, Father, all things are possible to thee. Remove this cup from me, yet not what I will, but what thou wilt. And he came and found them sleeping, and he said to Peter, Simon, are you asleep? Could you not watch one hour? Watch and pray that you may not enter into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. And again he went away and prayed, saying the same words. And again he came and found them sleeping for their eyes were very heavy, and they did not know what to answer him. And he came to them a third time, and said to them, Are you still sleeping and taking your rest? It is enough. The hour has come. The Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Rise, let us be going. See, my betrayer is at hand. The Word of God. Well, have a good day, everybody, and I'll see you again tomorrow. And may God bless us all. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord.